Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Dr. Ghost Games. If you all are new to the channel, welcome. I'm Dr. Ghost, and I make content for the game World of Warships Legends. Now, believe it or not, we are actually playing the game, like, live. Now, we're not actually, like, live streaming. We're just playing live. I'm actually here right now on my port, and I just thought, why not, like, do a live comm sort of video? But the thing is, we're going to do a one-take video. So, I don't know if you guys have ever watched Potato Quality um over on youtube on pc but he makes these kind of videos called one takes and basically what it is is he picks a ship and you he plays it one battle that's it just one battle and whatever match he gets that's the match he shows and uh yeah basically what he does is he goes through play by play explains how he plays the ship and what he's doing and whatnot and even tries to teach a bit and i think that's what i'm gonna try to do here now right off the rip I'm going to play a ship that not a lot of people like, and that's the Omaha, or aka the Marblehead, obviously. Uh, Marblehead is an Omaha-class light cruiser. It's my favorite ship in the game, and people probably are like, what? Your favorite ship's an Omaha? But yeah, yeah, my favorite ship is the Omaha and the Marblehead and the Murmansk. I love them, but Marblehead is my favorite out of the three. Now, enough talking about favorites here. Let's go ahead and look at the ship here before we get into the battle. So we've got aiming systems on, obviously. No point in running AA guns because, well, Marblehead does not have good AA at all. And main battery, what's the point? An extra, extra bit of traverse speed, but you lose reload? That's not worth it. Honestly, run dispersion um, with the aiming systems mod 1, the torpedo launching uh, traverse speed, all that stuff, that's more valuable to me. So, for the commander, we're running uh, Norman Scott. You guys probably see this little guy is over it, but trust me, it's Norman Scott. I've got him fully maxed out here, level 16, legendary 4. We've got Francesco Membelli for the extra reload on the cruiser main battery, uh, main battery's guns, obviously. And we've got Nikolai Kuznetsov for the extra range. Now the base trait here, directed impact, cruiser main battery shell grouping plus 5%. Very helpful indeed. We've got beyond range, which gives us 10% range to our guns, which is about a kilometer. We've got igniter, which increases the fire chance of our HE shells by about 3%. We've got Punch Through, increases the AP uh, shell damage by about 10% and increases the penetration by about 6. We've got Fixated, Cruiser Main Battery Shell Grouping plus 5, and Dispersion of Main Battery minus 5. And we've got Refill Station. Now you guys could of course build your commanders however you want to, but I value range and DPM and of course the fire chances. I'm a fire starter, baby. If I go to my artillery here and go to my range, my firing range, if you look right there, it's 15.9 kilometers. Almost 16 kilometers at tier 4. This thing's a little demon. And I've got a 15% fire chance, so I'm just able to sit back, burn people down, and have a great time. Obviously, armor on the Marblehead, Omaha, and Murmansk. Horrible. Absolutely horrible. Um, it You're not going to ricochet really anything. But how you should be playing these ships, I'm going to get into that in the video. So let's just start up a battle and see what happens. So... Yeah, we're just going to play one match. That's it. If I die, I die. If I get dev struck, that's it. That's the match. But I would like to play it to my best for you guys and go over my thought process and how I like play my boats. So I'm basically going to think out loud for you guys, essentially. So we're on big race and it's epicenter. So this is most likely a tier three lobby because this map and this game mode is never at tier five. So yeah, we're on one of the lower tier maps. Now, let's go and see what we got to deal with here. Oh, wow. Lots of cruisers. So this is going to be interesting. So we've got Akuma. Easy to Citadel. Phoenix. Easy to Citadel. Kirov. Easy to Citadel. Emerald. Easy to Citadel. Pretty much. Okay. Everything in this lobby is easy to Citadel. But I am too. So, but this looks like very juicy matchmaking. So we're going to immediately load AP. No destroyers. One carrier. Hosho. Um, Hosho is pretty deadly. It's got those, of course, torpedo bombers. It's got the uh, dive bombers. Yeah. Congo and a Wyoming to deal with. I'm quite concerned about that Congo, but we will see what happens. So we're going to go forwards here and we're probably going to play the islands off to our right. So we're going to get the guns on the left because we're, we're most likely going to be fighting people off our left side. So we're going to keep the guns off the left here. Now there's a Kirov out here coming in. I'm not going to bother shooting at him because I don't want to be the first one spotted and the first one getting focused. Okay, so Khan goes over there. Fantastic. Now, we're going to take some shots at this emerald. Now I know where that Congo is, so I can actually keep this island in between me and him. 
Emerald slowing down in his smoke screens. We're probably gonna put the shells right about there. Just like so. Now here we go. Here's the Kuma. A little angled, so we're probably not gonna get a whole lot of results. Yep, we don't get a whole lot there. Omaha, on the other hand. Yep, we get a pen right on his bow. We'll take it. We're gonna take another pot shot here at 14 kilometers at this cure off, just like so. All right. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna charge kind of at these guys. If I can get on their broadsides, which I know I can, uh, I can absolutely obliterate these guys. So here's what we're gonna do. This looks like a feast waiting to be just consumed right now. All right. I'm thinking this Kuma might make a turn. Omaha's broadside. Yeah, we're not gonna bother with it. Kuma's still bowing. I think I can overmatch him just like that. We Citadel the Kuma straight through his bow. We'll take it. Let's do it again. Yeah, just a couple pens. We'll take it. He's probably turning to get his torpedoes off, so we're going to pop our sonar and turn in. And down he goes. Durflinger took him out, and there's the torpedoes, as torpedoes predicted. Direct front. Wyoming looks to be maybe wanting to come around that island, so I'm going to put some torpedoes down range. Phoenix, I can overmatch you, bud. Don't know if that's going to really help you. Angling like that. Looks like the enemy carrier is charging up the middle. Not sure if that's a good idea. Come on, Phoenix. Die already. There we go. As you guys can see here, knowing armor angling and knowing how what shells do in certain situations is very, very helpful. Unfortunately, he's behind the island, so we're not going to be able to finish him. But, what we can do is come around this little bit here and hopefully get some shells on range at this emerald. Unless he gets absolutely nuked, which he did just then. Emeralds angling a bit. Yeah, he's going to go back out broadside. Shot the Kirov, didn't get really any results there. Oh, but we got results on the Emerald. You do not go broadside an Emerald. That's a bold strategy, which usually never works for you. Nice work. Nice work. All right, there's some torpedoes, I think, from the Emerald. Now we're going to see if we can't get some shots on that Kirov. Boom! Two Citadels, 8,000 damage. We'll take it. Let's see if we can't finish him here. Down he goes. Ooh, devastating strike. Let's go. Omaha out here, coming in, bow in. We're already up to 70,000 damage, which is phenomenal. And we're about, about to get dev struck. Actually not. We got very lucky. Down goes the Omaha. Enemy cruiser foundered. We got very lucky to not get Deathstruck there. I was entirely expecting to get Deathstruck. He put out the fire. I'm going to stay bowing to make myself as narrow as possible, but it is totally possible that he'll just sit it on me through my bow. He doesn't. Leaves me alive. Oh my god. The luck right now is through the fucking roof. I need to get my torpedoes off. I'm gonna die here, but I'm gonna take this fucker with me. Or not. I'm going to leave him alive somehow. Yeah. Marblehead torpedoes. Not the greatest, apparently. Come on, DPM. Come on, DPM. Yes! We live, baby! Oh my god. Alright, so that... It's not a bad game by any means. This would have been a video if I would have recorded it regardless. So I'm glad I got it live. Holy shit. 114,000. 
I have to put my controller down for a minute, but 114,000 damage, three kills, high caliber, devastating strike, three torpedo hits. Oh my god. Man, this is why I love Marblehead. People forget how good the firepower is on this ship. Yeah, the armor's horrible, but man, there's, there's a lot of bad players at tier four and three, so you can just feast, man, on these seals. Absolutely feast on them, and that's what we did in this game. We had god tier matchmaking, so we were just able to dominate, baby. That is what I'm talking about. Holy crap. What a freaking match, but it isn't over yet. Let's get some shots down range on this Hosho here. Wowzers. We'll take it, man. Down he goes. Alrighty. That is how we do it, baby. Yes. What a freaking match. That's a that's one of my best Marblehead matches I've had in a while. Look at that. 122,000 damage. 166 target hits. Three torpedo hits on that Wyoming. One incapat. We got a four destroyed. We almost had a crack in there. Four fire set. Eight citadels, man. We used AP a lot in that game. We absolutely dominated that lobby. One defense ribbon, one solo cap, one assisted in capture, one detection ribbon, confederate, devastating strike, high caliber, top of the leaderboard with 2.7k base. I think it's safe to say we carried that match along with our Durflinger there. But yeah, if you guys like this video, let me know. If you guys want to see more videos like this, like these one take kind of videos, let me know in the comments below. And I look forward to hearing back from all of you guys. But with all that being said, thank you very much for watching. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Stay healthy, as always.